Doug. They... they... You gotta move! You son of a bitch! No! The hell is wrong with that guy? I'm not letting somebody else get eaten today. Especially a good friend. And I thought I saved his life and then he just punches me in the face. He's going to die. I'm going to kill that guy. This the Christian lady that said they would all see Hannah. Oh, he's not. What is that some bitch that punched me in the face? Hey, go ahead. I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I got to take my chances. You fucking dead. I'm gonna kill that guy. The... I think you're making the wrong call. Maybe, but I'd rather make the wrong call and no than make the right call and not. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. Are you just going to let them? You told Carly to give her the gun. Yeah, I did. Maybe you were right. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. It was the bastard. I should talk to him. Hey, kid. Oh my god, Thanks I need to talk to all of them. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true, but after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kitty. You got it. I hate the camera sometimes. I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. Like how Doug is just talking about back Doug. there. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. You'll be alright. Yeah. Definitely. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I'm gonna stay. I'm gonna stay. Wait. 
Lee? Oh, I sneezed. What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I thought you needed the help. Ah, that makes sense. But it wasn't a choice like that. It, it was just something I did. I don't know why. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Duck is just talking and Glendam's just like, yeah. It's all like pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? Yeah, she's great. Well, stay the fuck away from her. Or what? Or, uh, everyone will know that you, Lee Everett, are a killer. And you were before it was something you had to do to stay alive. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. I'd be I dead if it weren't for you. Yeah, because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Is this it? Um. Scratch the light part now. Aww. Said. Ooh, next time. Next time on The Walking Dead. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. Don't repeat what happened with the walkers at Herschel's farm. You choose the kids this time. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! Yeah! No more, please. No more, please. Please, please. <laughs> ah. Quite interesting, actually. Okay. Ooh, 
Honesty. By the Herschel. You are 71%. You and 71% of players were honest, the Herschel. Dako Shan. You and 41% of players chose Shan. Loyalty. So you and 47 of, the, of players defended Kenny. You and 45% of players gave her the gun. You and 73% of players chose Coley. So it seems like most people are saving Carly and saving and not lying to Herschel. But it's really undecided when it comes to saving Sean or Duck or Kenny or and to side with Kenny or to give a Iron the gun. So I mean it's kinda undecided. I mean the third middle three are kinda like you know Yes, no, yes, no. Can we skip this? Okay. Well, this ends episode one of The Walking Dead, and um, see you guys for episode two when it comes out.